So here I have these really cute two little boxes and inside of them are the new HomePod minis. And I really wanna give you guys a sense of how cute these boxes are. So here's my iPhone 12 Pro Max and look at that, the boxes are just so cute. And the reason these actually boxes are, uh, you know, why I have the cardboard boxes here are, this is the box it ships in. And I just wanted to give a little bit of a, um, you know, shout out to Apple because they put so much attention to detail to even the boxes they ship them in. You know, you could just pick any random box and ship it in. That's what most companies do. But Apple really put so much more thought into it. Just look at the way you open this box up. You know, it's not just like taped up or something where you can just, uh, you know, cut it open with a knife. No, they thought about that. They're like, no, let's give you a pull tab. So this has a pull tab. So if you pull on the tab, it's gonna neatly open up like this to reveal the box inside. You guys can see that. So as I pull this apart, it goes through all the way. And look at that. Now all I have to do is kind of separate the two ends and boom, little HomePod mini, cute little box is out. So, you know, just Apple is, awesome that way really really awesome so this is the white home pod mini let me grab the uh, other one this is the uh, space gray one so let me just pull it open real a lot quicker than the other one just to show you guys so boom there we go so here they are the mini and oh cool so they actually have different designs for the uh, two so you guys can see both of them have uh, a different design based on the color uh, so space gray and white. The reason I bought two is I, I'm not sure how loud they're going to be. So I, I was going to, I'm either going to have one of these in each room or what I'm going to do is if they're not as loud as I want them to get, I'm going to pair them in stereo and set them up like that on my desk. So uh, it's just really awesome. Let me go ahead and open the box up. So while I'm cutting open both of these boxes, what I do want to get, let you guys know is that, you know, I've actually had... Uh, the HomePod for quite a while now. I didn't get it at launch. I bought it, I, I think, a year or so after it came out, the big one, and I immediately fell in love with it. Like, I've had, I think I have three HomePods now scattered across two countries, uh, and they are just fantastic. I can't get enough of them. So this is the design of the white box. Let me peel the plastic on the black one as well. So the box as well is color matched to the color of the... Uh, home pod you buy which is a really cool touch so a lot of cool attention to detail there you guys can see side by side you know each of the uh text on the side you know it's got this cool little design the waves and all this interesting stuff going on here so let me go ahead pull the box off and let's see what we get inside so i've actually never seen one in person this is my first time seeing it in person uh all I know is that the photos make it look uh, bigger than it actually is in person. All right, so here's the white one. And the space gray, wow. So I am really liking these right off the bat. So they're, they are small, like, they're like a little flower pot. <laughs> so they come attached with a braided USB-C cable. There's a little sticker there, let me pull this out as well. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. Let me just do one box. We don't need to do both of them. So a little bit of a cardboard piece, HomePod mini, uh, sticker, no, no, oh, sticker, yeah. There's a sticker. Sticker, paperwork, and quick set up guide. All right, I'm gonna put this off to the side real quick. And let's look at what else comes in here. And you guys can see this has a power brick. That is so weird. So the last HomePod, the HomePod, the bigger one, it comes attached with a power cable directly. So this one, instead, the HomePod has a USB-C cable and then a USB power adapter, which I believe is, let me check, it is 20 watts. So it is a 20 watt power adapter. Not sure if camera's gonna be able to focus in on that, but you guys can see 20 watt right there. So this is a 20 watt power brick that comes with, that's, that's a weird situ setup. In my opinion, why not just kind of I, I don't know, I would have I would have expected why not just do a little like um, cable that is, you know, the power 
cable being attached to it because it's not like this end is detachable so this end is attached to the home pod regardless so if this is you know usb-c on both ends then it would make sense why not have a separate power adapter but um it's a weird decision i'll uh, leave it at that let me put these off to the side let's look at the box itself so i'm sorry the home pod minis himself and they're pretty light like the the home pod is heavy like it is deceptively heavy and these are really light and they have the same fabric finish of the home pod so looks really nice um the bottom there's a sticker here okay apple logo at the bottom let's see look at that and you know these these are just so cool so uh let me do this there's not much more to look at here physically so what i'm going to do is open up these cables set them up and uh let's see what the setup process is like let me plug them in first and we'll get to the setup process real quick all right there we go so i got them both plugged in you guys can see there's a ring going around so this the top is a display uh but it doesn't read text it does have lights on it though so really it's a mix of both the the black one you can see a lot better oh there we go so they're both pulsing i'm guessing i'm gonna have to grab my phone so let me grab that all right so home pod mini right there looks like it's got the white one first so i'm gonna go ahead and set it up let me go ahead and pick the room so it asks for personal requests so really i don't see the point of that but whatever so siri for everyone siri can recognize the voices of each person in this home to provide access to their own music reminders all right yeah sure why not so that is a feature that is new so you guys uh so you guys can actually kind of uh even though there is one home pod everybody can have their access to their their stuff like their calendars and stuff so accounts and settings go ahead and hit transfer on that let's put home pod into frame so there we go it's that little setup chime so I'm gonna, the white one is setting up first. I'll do the black one second. So I really like this little like light pulsing, like it looks super cool. Uh, the, the weird thing I'm noticing right here is though that because of this white uh, glass on the top, it looks, the light doesn't seem as noticeable compared to the black, which looks a lot cooler. Uh, so I honestly, just looking at both of them, I really think the black one is, is the better color. So if you're gonna choose it, to the black one and of course it does have the color match black cable so um yeah it's uh, it's interesting so uh i did i don't think i mentioned this but these are 99 dollars, so 100 dollars a piece so on its own i feel like 100 dollars is a lot for a speaker just a mini little speaker like this but it's giving what home pod does with sound quality what i know from it i think a, a hundred might might actually be worth it so okay this one just finished uh there's that little light let me finish this one up. So automatically this one pops up as well. Home pod mini. So let me go ahead, set it up. Uh, yes, use a stereo pair. There's already one, so I'm gonna do that. So is this home pod on the right? It's on the right, okay. Continue, transfer. So, uh, all right, it says hold the home pod mini in the center of the frame. I got it already. All right, so this home pod is now ready. That's awesome. So. Let me hit OK. Now, of course, I can't play copyrighted music, so let me find some copyright free music that I can play for you guys and let's see what it's like. I want to listen to it myself. Uh, so my mic is attached to me, so I'm about uh, a foot and a half away from the speaker. So what you're going to be listening is exactly kind of what I'm hearing from my end as well. So if the mic doesn't do a great job, I'm sorry, but really this is all I can do. I'm not uh, I'm not sure how exactly I can give you guys a better experience. So, okay, let's see. What song do I want to listen to? Okay. And, okay, uh, let me pause this real quick. You guys can see as I am on the music app, you guys can see. So there is a, there's my HomePod in the living room. You guys can see that. And then right there is my bedroom. So there, you guys can see there's two HomePods there because this is set up as a stereo pair. Really cool. So if you just have one, it'll probably show up like a single HomePod right there. And then if you have a stereo pair set up, it's like that. So uh, let me go ahead, hit that up. Let's see what it sounds like. So there is a little bit of audio delay. I pressed play a couple seconds ago and still no audio. OK, 
Okay, I got lights on both. Wonder what that means. Still no audio. Okay, finally got audio, but I just noticed the white one spacing out a little bit. Lower the volume a little bit here. Okay, so there's doing something weird with the audio. I think it's just because they're set up in stereo. Let's see. Okay, so I don't know how much of that I made you guys listen to, but uh, right off the bat, when I played, there was a little bit of mismatch with the sync, like one pair, one side wasn't playing, and then there was a volume issue, but after a couple of seconds, it kind of equaled out, and then it started playing really well. So that is a concern I had before, and I guess that is still the concern. So, um, you know, with HomePod, it does, the airplay here is not seamless. It used to be awesome. I don't know what happened. At some point down the, down the kind of couple of years, it's kind of gone downhill and I, I really don't know how but the quality once it's all set to go and the music is playing it sounds fantastic and uh, when they're close close together you really can't tell but I, I spaced them apart on my uh, table as far as I could and man the sound quality just immediately improves when you pull them uh, further apart and they do the quality I feel sounds exactly the same to my home pod the bigger one the only difference is there's not as much volume output so it's not as loud as the home pod but honestly that was too loud anyway so i feel like this is pretty cool so uh let me play a little bit more just to get, give you guys a little bit more of an idea so i have set them apart as far as i can on my desk without uh making it too crazy let me pull up another copyright free song what which one would be good which one gives us a good uh, there's so, okay, this one has some good beats to it. So you see they light up, but let's see. So loading, so this is something that is an issue. So it's playing on this, but not showing up here. I'm gonna go max volume to show you guys what it's like. Alright, so I spent the last couple of minutes listening to these um, in stereo, listening to a bunch of different songs, and so far I am very impressed with the performance in stereo. I, I really am blown away by them. But I will say one thing. I did realize that, um, I, I did say that they sound very close to the HomePod a few minutes ago, but these actually don't have as much bass, which I didn't realize until I played a few songs that were bass intense. And I listened to my HomePod, listened to on my HomePod all the time. So I was able to immediately tell, oh, okay. So the HomePod would have a lot more bass in these sections. So bass is definitely limited, but that's actually not too surprising. So um, with audio, you need a little bit of space for bass to kind of be significant. And uh, the subwoofer needs to be bigger. And these are small, so that's just an, an inherent um, kind of negative point with a smaller size speaker. That's not really against the HomePod, it's just the way um, things work. So that's the one thing. If you want a lot of bass, the HomePod is still uh, that the one that I would go for. But if you're somebody who's okay with a decent bass, but good, great quality all around, the HomePod mini is fantastic. Uh, so that does also kind of put in my mind that it makes sense that the HomePod exists alongside these two, I'm um, sorry, alongside the HomePod mini, because um, that has, it's louder, it has way more bass, and it just, I think that um, from a impressive, like just from a standpoint where 
you're trying to get the most out of a small package, I think that really has a lot more to offer. Uh, another thing, these are actually significantly lighter compared to the uh, HomePod. Just the, the HomePod is ungodly heavy like it is it doesn't look as heavy as it is but when you pick it up you're always shocked like i'm always surprised when i lift my home pot up as like that as to like how heavy that thing is so uh stereo quality so as i did i showed you guys a little bit earlier you know i i kind of uh moved the uh home pods to the opposite ends of my desk here and the quality is unbelievable. So I've listened to stereo speaker setups before, but this is the first time I've listened to a setup where uh, if the, the the speakers are all the way towards the end, I usually, you know, when they're like this, you can tell that the, the audio is coming from left and right. But with the HomePod Mini, you legitimately think it's coming from the center. Like it is uncanny. Like it feels fake. Like I, my mind is struggling to... Uh, come to terms as to there's nothing in the middle here, but the sound seems to be coming from here uh, instead of from the two ends, which is, I don't know if I just haven't listened to the, to, know, to very good stereo setups or what, but this is the first time I've heard something like this and it is blowing me away. So if you haven't, um, you know, used st uh, speakers in stereo setup, these are fantastic. I, I really think that uh, if you're looking to set up more than one in a room, these will do a great job. Now, I will say though, with the stereo speaker setup here, AirPlay is a little bit of a disappointment. So things aren't instant. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, you know, if you click play on one, it usually takes a half a second for the other one to join in. Um, and if you hit the volume up or down, same thing. Uh, it takes a half a second to go from here to there. So as you guys saw, I accidentally triggered the audio there and it just played on this. It never played on this at all because um, it, there's that half second to one second delay there, which is uh, just AirPlay being AirPlay. The, the connection isn't as good as you'd want it to be. So hopefully that's something that software-wise can be improved in the future. Uh, but for the time being, it's uh, a little bit, it's a miss, all right? There's no getting around it. That's definitely not a good thing, especially if you're supposed to be such a premium product in this landscape. Now, that being said, what do I think? What would I say? What would I recommend these? I would recommend this to Apple fans. So if you already have uh, an iPhone, you're deeply engrossed in the uh, HomePod, uh, sorry, the Apple ecosystem, and you already have a HomePod or if you have experience with a HomePod and you can work with it, these are great. But if you're looking to buy, uh, you're looking into venturing into buying your first smart speaker, then things become a little bit iffy. You can only really use um, Siri on this with Apple Music. So if you tell Siri to play a song, there's only two options. You can either use this Pandora or iHeartRadio, um, and Apple doesn't support much more. I think Amazon Prime Music is coming as well. But if you have Spotify, which is the most popular one, or uh, a lot of people have YouTube Music or Google Music, which this doesn't support, you'd have to grab your phone, open up that app, uh, go to AirPlay, and then AirPlay from your phone. You can't tell Siri to do it which is disappointing. It really defeats the purpose of a smart speaker if you can't completely interact with it uh, without having a device to go alongside it. That being said, you can't really use this without, uh, you know, you really do want to have an Apple device to use these along with. You just don't buy it without any other Apple devices. It won't make sense. Uh, so if you are a beginner and you're just starting to look at uh, uh, the smart speaker market, look at the Amazon Echo Dot over this because that has a uh, significantly better, uh, you know, usability. It, it just really does work. The one thing I will say that this is definitely going to be the one that I go to for security. So if you're somebody who's security conscious and you don't want, uh, you know, smart speakers from companies that are really not the best when it comes to privacy, you know, Amazon and Google have done sketchy things in the past. And I can totally understand if you'd want to avoid them. These are great. The quality is great, but just understand the functionality can become limited if you're not 100% on board with Apple and their shtick of uh, usability. So I am, so it works perfectly for me, but if you're not, that's going to become a problem really quick. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the HomePod minis if you've heard them yet. Uh, I really am impressed by them, but I really do think that they work the best with stereo. 
Uh, just one on its own might not be great enough. It's it's good. Sound quality is good, but I think that with stereo you really get that really deep impact there. Uh, and if you have any questions, as I said, ask down in the comments below, or I have my social media handles right on the screen. Be sure to hit me up over there. I'll try to answer any questions I have. You guys have. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. A lot more videos on Apple stuff coming. There's a lot of products out, and there's a lot of pro videos to make. So be sure to follow if you're interested in that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Let's <laughs> go.